This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Now, last Sunday we looked at a couple of verses. 2 Timothy 3, verses 12 and 13. Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ will be persecuted, while evil people and imposters will go on from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. And I, want, and I keyed in on these two terms, the evil people and the imposters. Evil people being people from the world who are not believers, people who, who, are, who are in sense, they're, 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 they're anti-God. And then those who are imposters who claim the name, they're, they're playing the game, pretending to be believers, or pretending, for example, to be church people, good people, moral people, they're part of the, the Sunday crowd, but they're imposters. And when push comes to, to, uh, to shove, they take on that evil banner. And they'll take it on for different reasons. But you've seen that also in Christian fellowships where people, there are just people who are just bent on defying the word of God. And we have to be so cautious about that as Christians. We have to be so, so careful we have to make sure that that we follow that we become people of the book that we're faithful to the word of god not to the word of the law of the church but to the word of god we need to be very very careful that the choices that we make the people that we put into positions of authority and leadership are people that are faithful to the word of god that's very important and when we find people who are questioning that or challenging that or even leading people away from that, we need to challenge it. We have a responsibility as ambassadors for Christ to do that. We are ambassadors for Christ, 2 Corinthians 5.20. We are ambassadors for Christ. We have a responsibility to represent God on earth. And when people are choosing evil, imposters are choosing evil, we have, to, we have to shed the light on it. And so that will go on, if, and it's going to go on, because people are rebelling against God. And the, re, the, the last part of that verse is they go on deceiving, not only the evil people, but also the imposters, go on deceiving and being deceived. There's no reasoning with people who are deceived. There's no reasoning with people who have already made up their mind about how they're going to do something. This is something the Holy Spirit can do, but it's not our job. What is our job? Well, we're taught in a number of places, but in Revelation, in the end times now, in the end days, in the very end days, when this continues, and it will continue, in fact, it'll get worse, that's what the Bible says. We're told in Revelation how to continue in the face of that kind of persecution. It's Revelation 22, verses 10 and 11. And he said to me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book. In other words, stand on the word of God. Stay true to the word of God. And then verse 11, which is an interesting verse, it says, let the evildoer still do evil. Understand, they're going to continue doing evil. And let the filthy still be filthy. They're going to continue being filthy. But, and there should be a but in that, but it isn't there. But you, you are the righteous. The righteous should still do right. Righteousness, remembering, is the things that, God, that you do because you are God's choice. The things you do because God's called you, because you're obedient to God. That's doing the right thing. So your job is to, as righteous, to continue doing the right and as holy, in other words, set aside for God's purposes, and you are, let the holy still be holy. So here's your job in today's world, in today's world of darkness and inflamed anti-God passion, and it's there. Here's your job. Continue doing righteousness and continue being holy. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.